Hi guys, I'm Moore, and today I want to try on this dress that's got the world talking. It's got us all perplexed. Is it a dress? Is it a mask? Is it a faha? I guess we gotta try it out and see. I saw that Mia Maples did this video, and I was like, ooh, is this dress finally available? Because I had seen it everywhere, and this is the dress I'm talking about, but it was just sold out. It's crazy because you can't get people to wear a mask, but if you attach it to a dress, they be wearing that, which is great. I mean, if we can find a way for people to wear them, I'm here for that, honey. But yeah, I got really excited to watch one of Mia's videos. Videos and also finally buy this dress that had been sold out for so long and now I got it here with me and I'm gonna be telling you guys what I think and yeah let's get started so if we look up mask dress this dress will come up and it's a pretty little thing dress personally I don't shop on pretty little thing too often so I guess this dress is doing the trick for them that is all going on their website being like when is this dress coming back in store ma'am we need our dress so hello magazine shows this dress and they got a bunch of prints they got a beige they got this blue one that looks like an ocean or maybe everything looks like an ocean to me right now because I just wish I could go in the water. I just wish I could go on some vacation. They got the black one, which I think is the first one they came out with. And then this other kind of nude one that looks like a painting to me. Personally, I like the black one the most. But also, if you can't tell, black is my favorite color. Face masks have quite literally become the must-have fashion accessory of 2020. And now Pretty Little Things latest launch has got everybody talking. It's so weird. I've never thought of a face mask as a fashion accessory, but it's true. Some people People got some real fashionable face masks. I limit myself to wearing a normal face mask, colored face mask, or if I'm feeling, you know, fashionable, I'll wear a black face mask. And that's pretty much it for me. I apparently have to step up my face mask game. This site says, we're still on the fence about it, but this one of a kind style has already proved popular and it's selling like hotcakes. Ooh, even Lottie Moss loves it. The model was recently spotted wearing the pretty little thing face mask dress while out and about in London. So Lottie is this girl and she looks so good wearing this dress. I tried to do my hair kind of like her because she looks so cute. I love my black hair, but I am so jealous of blondes because their hair just pops whenever they wear black. It's like they can have the best of both worlds because you can wear black and then have really cute hair and you can actually see your cute hairdo. I feel like for people like me with dark hair, then you can't really tell. But personally on me, I don't think any hair color other than black looks good. I tried it once. I, I don't think I'll ever go back to anything other than you know, this. Here they say, $19 turtleneck dress with face max sells out after Kate Moss's sister rocks it. I feel bad they call her Kate Moss's sister. I mean, she has a name, it's Lottie. And Lottie looks really beautiful wearing this dress. It looks really form-fitting. I don't know about you guys, but something that I noticed immediately on this dress was the sleeves. And I love sleeves that you can bring all the way up to your hand and where you can stick your thumb out. I just feel like it looks so cool. It's like a face mask for your hand, like a glove. But yeah, I got a lot of questions about this dress, which hopefully we shall answer soon. But let me tell you, first I went on the Pretty Little Thing website and I ordered my dress. And when I went on the Pretty Little Thing website, I realized that they had a lot of these dresses. Most of them were sold out, but I was really excited because they actually make this dress in the petite version and also a tall version. I myself, I'm a somewhat tall person. I'm 5'9". So whenever I see anything that's made in the tall version, I try to buy that because a regular size dress can be a little bit short for me. So if I find the tall, I'm like, oh, that's comfy. You know, that will cover these legs. It's just more comfortable that way. So I ordered my dress. I pay for my dress and I'm real excited because getting a tall version of anything is real hard for me It's not that easy to find so I was like yes, I'm getting a tall dress. I'm getting a mask. I'm getting sleeves We're getting everything honey and then literally a day before it was supposed to be delivered I got an email telling me they're now out of stock and I was like Excuse you, pretty little thing. What are you doing? What's wrong with your stock? How did you not realize this before? So I actually had to go back on the website and now the tall version was sold out. But magically, somehow, the regular version of this dress was in stock. And that's what we got now. The inferior version, if you ask me. But I guess they'll have to do. I got the fast shipping and it did ship out pretty quickly. So let's see. Hmm. Bam, comes like this. So this dress was $21.68. That's not $19, sir. Who do you think you are charging me for taxes? <gasps> so I'm actually on the website right now and the dress is now $30. <laughs> what? On that news article, it said that it was 19 and then I paid 21, but then here it says 30. I don't know if they've just been upping the price because it's been so popular. Also, I know Pretty Little Thing has discounts all the time. Right now they have Black Friday 60% off everything. So I guess it could be that. I mean, with 
60% off, this dress will be a lot cheaper, but I paid $21. I should have waited until Black Friday. And actually, I think this video is getting posted on Black Friday. So as you guys watch this, I will probably be doing a lot of shopping because I've been waiting for Black Friday to do some shopping that I've been wanting to do. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video about that and let me know what websites I should hit. Who's having good sales? All right, so this dress, oh wow, the material is really soft. Soft. I thought it was gonna have more of a stretchy fabric, something that will kind of like cinch you in a little bit more, but it feels almost like a t-shirt. It feels really, really soft. It feels basically like a turtleneck, but something that you would just wear, you know, as a sweater almost. It's really soft. So I got a size US 8 and then UK 12. And then this is what it looks like. It's just a dress. I think maybe I should have gotten a smaller size, but I don't know. I gotta try it out because, you know. So here is the part with the face mask and this is really interesting so it just looks like it has basically a really long turtleneck and then the turtleneck has these little hoops which i guess you just put on right here and this fabric is pretty see-through i can see through it right now well oh, there you guys can see me i feel like this is probably not the same as wearing a face mask i know this is kind of a fashion statement but i don't know if it's the safest thing in the world of course it's better than wearing nothing but i figured we should do a little spray test i got my spray bottle i got my mask dress let's spray Spray it. So let's see if I was sneezing right now. Let's see how this would go. Let me see. Oh, see how it's getting right through it. Ooh, it's definitely going through. It's not working as much as I would have wanted it to. I'm not 100% sure how much the camera is picking it up, but for sure this fabric is letting a lot of my little spray water get through. So I don't know if this dress will be a dress that's, you know, approved for safety purposes, but let's see if it's approved for fashion purposes. All right, so is this dress fashion approved? I don't know. I mean, I think it's cute, but I just don't know about the fabric. It's very thin. You guys can see here that I'm wearing kind of like a, like colored bra and you can see this bra it's just not flattering i feel like the fabric is not the best fabric i will say the dress is not short this isn't the long version of the dress this is just the regular version and it looks fine on my legs because i do have the problem where the dresses can be a little bit short for me and this is fine i mean it does kind of right up just like a little bit but i feel like it looks okay i don't know what do you guys think how does it look i wish it would like cinch me in because it does not cinch me in at all i mean this is just just not in. And personally, I feel like for my body type, I want something that kind of snatches me in just like a little bit. But I do love these leaves. I feel like these leaves give me life. Just because of these leaves alone, I feel like I would wear this dress. I think I like the upper part of the dress a lot more than I like the bottom part. This, I just wish we could do something about. Something that doesn't involve dieting or exercise, preferably. But looking at the dress, I feel like right now you couldn't really tell that it has a mask on it. It doesn't look like a turtleneck or anything like that. It just looks like a regular dress. The neck just kind of falls down and I think that's because this fabric is just so loose. But let me try and put it on. Let's see how easy that is to do. So, oh, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> really? Okay, it kind of just slides down. Maybe I have to pull it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. So I was pulling the dress down to cover my butt, but if you pull it down, then you're pulling your mask down. So you should not pull that down. There we go. This is what it looks like. I feel like it looks really cute, but my nose keeps sticking out. It's not very practical, honestly. I feel like it's hard to keep it secure. There we go. Let's try and give it a little walk. Falls. I think it's a good theory and I think it's cute for going from like your car to another place real close by But I don't think this can replace a mask. This does look cute in my opinion. It just slides down very easily I don't know if my nose is just too big and it wants to stick out like this The dress looks kind of cute. It looks kind of like a turtleneck and then if you pull it down Then it's just down the fabric is definitely super thin But you guys tell me what you think about the overall fit of the dress I feel that it's cute, but I do keep pulling it down. I'm just like can't do that because I have the mask. When I do have the mask on though, let me see what I can smell when I have this mask on though. I can't really smell anything. <sighs> All right, my breath does not stink at the moment. I can't really smell like my body because I would think if this mask is connected to the rest of your body, maybe you could smell like some B.O. or your perfume, I don't know. Maybe you smell like roses. But right now I couldn't really smell anything. If I do that, I can definitely smell my perfume. But just wearing the mask, I can't. So that's good. I love these leaves. I think it's a cool look. I feel like I'm ready for like a video game. Mm. Damn. But yeah, overall, I feel like the dress is pretty cool. I think it was sold out because it's a pretty affordable dress. I mean, when you do the sales, I don't think I will pay $30 for this dress because the material isn't that 
good. I wish it was a little bit thicker, a little bit stretchier, but under $15, I would definitely pay for it. I think it's cute. I love the sleeves. I like the fact that it has the mask. Personally, I haven't been really going anywhere. I don't really have a place to wear this dress to, but I do feel that if we start making masks just like more of a fun thing, maybe some people that haven't been wanting to wear them before will wear them and it might be better for everyone overall. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the dress and also let me know if you're doing any Black Friday shopping and what stores should I hit online because I'm doing a lot of online Black Friday shopping this year. And if you guys want to see me actually shop in store, don't forget to check out my other videos where I've actually gone shopping. <sighs> the magic of shopping. And I'll leave those links for you guys below. And yeah guys, I love you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.